Hey, what is going on guys? This is New Kiro and today I'm going to make a little tutorial for you about Overwatch. Overwatch is an animated first person shooter that came out last year. It has been a very popular game since then. So, here we have four different sections. No, seven six different sections. I'm going to describe each one of them. Let's begin with the play section. So, here we have four different game modes. The first game mode is the quick play, where you jump into a game where you meet different teammates and enemies that have this almost the same skill as you have and level. The arcade section, here are games with different rules. The arcade section is updated each month with new games with new rules. The third game mode is the competitive play. The competitive play is a kind of serious game mode where you have to make almost perfect strategies to win because it is kind of really hard. You meet totally different enemies, they can have much higher level and so on, depending on the rank you are in. The fourth section is play versus AI where you meet teammates, real players, but you all play against the computer and for practice, but you still play online against the AI. So that was the play section. Now let's go over to the training section. Here we have uh, three different kind of training sections. The first one is the tutorial where you just do it when you buy and start the game for the first time. You're going to do the tutorial, but you can do it as much times as you want because you will do it with soldier. Practice range is really useful for the ones who want to shoot sharp. For example, McCree in this case. He has a pretty low accuracy, but if you want to shoot it with him really good, the practice range could be helpful for you. Practice versus AI. This is the same thing as play versus AI, but the name is different. So, yeah. Now let's go over to the hero gallery. Here are all the heroes in Overwatch and their items. For example, let's take Genji. So, here we have skins, emotes, victory poses, voice lines, sprays, highlight intros, and weapons. These are different collectibles you can collect in loot boxes. And loot boxes, you get them by leveling up. That, or if you buy them for real money. I wouldn't suggest that, but... So, uh, let's look. take a look at the different skins. Um, the classic one, the classic ones are grey, the rare ones are blue, the epic ones are pink, and the yellow ones are legendary. So it's pretty good to know, because when you get a yellow skin, a yellow marked skin, that's a really rare skin. Right now I have Bedouin and Sentai with Genji in this case. So. Let's go over to the emotes. Emotes are pretty special because they do different moves and different poses. And I kind of like them. I kind of like this one right now, the current one. But the others seem also pretty good. For example, this challenge or meditate. And yeah. Victory poses. When you are winning a game. When you won the game, your hero shows with a victory pose. For example, this one, Shuriken. It shows you like this when your team wins a match. Uh, voice lines are the different phrases your hero can say. As long as you equip phrases, then uh, or voice lines, then you can use them for saying fun things. Um, sprays are different pictures or 
sprays you can paint on the walls or on objects or so in the game when you play for example right now I have this one um, highlight intros these are when you get play of the game for for example killing four or three enemies in a good way then you get play of the game and then they will sh it will show you the highlight intro you have selected for that type of hero um, the weapons now here is where you use your competitive points so to get one single golden weapon it requires 3000 competitive points to have now if you think this is a worthy choice then I would suggest you spare up to that otherwise you can just spare up how much you want and don't need to buy weapons but the golden ones are really cool they are shiny and they look great that's the main reason you want to buy them um, okay now the loot box section section is the section where you receive the loot boxes and you can open them to get skins voice lines and almost everything that i told you from before except golden weapons because those you, you can only buy them with competitive points you can't get them with loot boxes um okay let's go over to the social section um here the social section shows your friends that are online and playing for example this one which has a player icon and you can see its rank but those who you can't see its player icon or its rank then that means those are online but not playing Overwatch and the grey players mean that they are not online and not playing Overwatch at all on PS4 or on PC. Um, now, the groups are when you're in a game, then you can see your team and the enemy team. But as a, I am not now in the current game, I can't show you how this is working. Recent players, these are the players where you met them last time in a match. For example, these ones and it can show you recent players from a day ago, a month ago, a week ago maybe even a year ago if you haven't played for that long time um, so the career profile shows you the statistics for each hero you have played and the career stats I mean kills, healing done, damage done, and yeah. I have chosen current competitive season to show my career stats, but I can change it to, for example, quick play or dual or other game modes. Let's choose quick play. Now this is a whole lot different than current competitive season. Now if you go over to the statistics then they have calculated the ratio, I mean the death ratio or the kill ratio. Or it's another way to show the overview but in the statistics. Now the player icons, here you can choose how your player icon can look like. For example, you can choose between the ones that you have. For example, I can choose this one or this one. But those who you have not unlocked yet are these ones, which are locked. But you can get them in loot boxes if you're lucky, of course. Um, okay. So, the last section is the options section where you can change your video, sound quality, 
how you control your different heroes. Um, here's some extra settings and a link count if you happen to lose your account or getting a new PS4 or something. So yeah, this was basically it for the overview. Oh yeah, a new update has come to Overwatch. So they have put in new arcade game modes. These two, Low Gravity and Horizon. I'm going to do a video when I'm going to play both of them gameplay so you can see how it is to play. And yeah. Um, also, the Roadhog hero has been buffed really much. It has a 30% more fire rate, which I think is really cool because it shoots a lot faster than before. So yeah, that was basically it for the basic tutorial and for the update. It wasn't much for update, but so thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was useful for you and um, you can always subscribe and like of course and I will see you guys next time bye